Hey guys, it's a GED question of the daytime, and I have a pretty typical um, algebraic expression here to simplify. Um, a lot of you will think of this as the idea of combining like terms. That's what your teachers have called it. Um, but, you know, what does it mean to simplify? Simplify is just kind of this generic uh, word in math that means, you know, do the operations that you see, perform the operations you see. Basically, I think of it like obey the signs. Okay, do as much forward math as you can and walk away. Careful, this is very different from solving. We're not going to ever find out in this particular expression what x is equal to and what y is equal to. That mystery will not be solved. All we're going to do is do the math we can do, simplify, and then walk away. Okay, reason why it can't be solved is because this is only one-sided. I don't have an equal sign with the number over here. There's nothing I could do to even try to solve this. There's no way I could get these letters alone. All I can do is do the math I can do and then walk away. Away. So what can I do? I can do what's called combining like terms. That's the phrase for addition and subtraction in algebra. We call it combining like terms. Why do we call it that? Well, we call it combining because the lines between addition and subtraction kind of blur when you get positive and negative numbers. And we say like because you can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. So I'll take a look at what I mean here. Let's just start doing this problem instead of talking about it. This is some number of y's. This literally tells me I have three y's sitting somewhere. Well, I can only add and subtract y's with other y's, okay? And look, notice there's no, this term is a plain old number, no y's. This guy has an x, not a y. This guy is a plain old number, no y's. And this guy has an x, not a y. There is nothing that will combine with y. And so I will just drop him down. He's as simple as he can get. I can't do anything else with him. Okay. Now let's take a look at the next term. The next term here is a constant term. Just a math word for meaning it's a plain old number. It doesn't have a letter. There's no x, there's no y, there's no p, q squared, anything funky. So constants can always combine with other constants. Numbers can always combine with other plain old numbers. So I'll go, that's not a constant, it has an x, but this next one, the plus five sure is a constant. Um, it doesn't have any letters. Okay, next one, negative 2x is not a constant, it has a letter. So let's think about what we would get if we combine negative 5 and positive 5. Well, I hope you know that negative 5 and positive 5 are additive inverses, they're opposites, so they come to 0. Now, could I write here plus 0? I sure could, but I wouldn't look like a mathematician if I did, because the deal is... 0, when you add it, does nothing. And because I'm adding it to this 3y term, I don't need to talk about it. So basically, when two things just cancel out, they'll just be gone in this polynomial. We won't even see them uh, when we add like terms. Okay, so then the next one, let's pick up another color. Next term I have is a negative 4x. Again, x's will only be able to combine with other x's, so let's go pick up this other negative 2x. Those are like, so they'll be able to combine. So negative four, it's like I'm in debt for x's. I owe you four x's, whatever the heck an x is. And now I go and borrow negative, another debt, two more x's. Now I'm really in trouble. I'm all the way up to negative six x. And if you struggle with adding and subtracting in your calculator, um, you can use your calculator, but careful, you can't put the x's into your ti. You're just going to be able to put the numbers, the coefficients, negative 4 minus 2 equals negative 6, your ti would tell you, and then you would have to know that you were adding and subtracting x's, and so what is that negative 6? It's the number of x's, negative 6x. Great, we've now combined all the like terms up here. There's nothing left going on. This is as simple as this expression is going to get. There's nothing else I can do here. Okay, students, my that's often what makes the difference between my A students and my C students. You know, I've got C students who will spend 20 minutes now trying to take 3y and subtract 6x. They are not like you cannot do it. You can just leave it that way. That is a simplified problem. That is as simplified as it's going to get. Uh, great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.